Check, check, one, two. Hey, Ruby, can you hear me back there? You can hear us back there? Okay, good. <laughs> you want to make sure. Um, good evening. I am so glad, I should say, we are so glad you guys are here. We had one of those days checking the weather on our phones every 30 seconds, probably. Um, and I'm so glad we are all here. Thanks for coming out. Hopefully, because we were stuck inside all day, we're in the mood to sing and dance and have fun. The rule, really one of the main rules we have is just to have nobody up on the stage. I told my friends here they can stay on that step and that's pretty much it. Because we have a lot of wires, we don't want anyone tripping or having any, um, any boo-boos. Which we'll sing a song about later. Um, Alright, this song is called Summer Day. If you have sunglasses from the beginning years table, put them on for this song. This song is called Summer Day. And who's gone to the beach this summer? Raise your hand if you've been to the beach. Ooh, that's a lot of friends, because we've had some weird weather, right, this summer, so maybe we didn't get to the beach yet. Two times, that's fun. Three times at the beach? <laughs> so funny. Well, I'm so glad to see you guys. It's certainly at least five, if not, if not more. I think it's more. More than five. Oh, yeah. yeah, we've been here a long time and we love it. It's one of our highlights of our summer, so 
We were sweating it out all day if we were gonna get the show in tonight because of the rain, but here we are. So I wanna find out before we do our next song. So we're in the month of August now. Raise your hand if you have a birthday in August. Right. Anybody's birthday in August? Oh, we have a few, we have a few. When is yours, Malcolm? Say it again. Oh, in winter. Oh my gosh, Malcolm and I are having the most adorable conversation all day so far, I can't even stand it. Um, so how about, what comes after August? Does anybody know? What month comes after August? Oh, I know, September. Does anybody have a birthday in September? Yeah. October. Ooh, Halloween. November. December. January. February. March. April. May. June. July. And back to August. <laughs> January. Me too. I'm January too. So this song is called Goodie Bag, and it goes out to everybody who's celebrating a birthday in any of those 12 months. If you have a birthday in the month that I just mentioned, this song is going out to you. together if you like goodie bags. So I don't want to know, my friend's right up here. I always like to ask the band this question too. Uh, let's, we'll start with the band first. So if you had your perfect goodie bag when you were leaving a birthday party, what would be in it? Bill, do you want to go first? What would be in your goodie bag? Uh, probably a new, some new army men or maybe an action figure. Oh, yeah. do we like, do we like action, like maybe a superhero too? Or yeah, superhero, yeah. Cool. How about Dave, what would be in your goodie bag? I would like a little Matchbox or Hot Wheels car. Oh, does that sound like a good idea? That would be cool. Yeah. Do we like Matchbox cars out there, Hot Wheels? Okay, Matt, cars. how about you? Uh, I'd like a Lego kit. Lego kit, who else would like a Lego kit out mm -hmm. there? Oh, I have a feeling that's a popular one. And Dan, what about you? A pack of cards from the band KISS? What does that mean, Dan? Does anybody know who KISS is out there? <laughs> All right, how about you guys up here? How about friends? Oliver, what do you want in your goodie bag? What do you like? A guitar! Ooh, that's a good one. And is that Harper? Hi, Harper. What would you like in your goodie bag? Chocolate. Oh, Harper's a girl after my own heart. Malcolm, what about you? What do you want in your goodie bag? 
Candy, who else wants candy in their goodie bag? That would be my children's answer. Megan, what do you want in your goodie bag? What do you like? <laughs> well, I hope you guys get everything you want in your next birthday party. Good bag. What would you like? A Prodigy Epic toy? Wow, that's a super rare birthday party if you get that. A $300 goodie bag gift. <laughs> that would be pretty special. It's hard. He's trying to convince his parents to buy him a $300 gift that he wants. I know that's a hard one. You might have to keep working on that one. <laughs> but you know what? You have something special on your shirt. Can you show off your shirt to everybody in the crowd? Do you guys see what's on his shirt? It's a rocket ship. So we're, this is like perfect timing because our next song is called Rocket Ship. It is. So Rocket Ship is one of our most popular songs. Can I have you guys put your rocket ship arms we're gonna travel around the galaxy and maybe see some other astronaut friends, some shooting stars, and we have a lot of room on our beautiful lawn here. So we're gonna pretend to go to outer space. Oh, I see these astronauts already. They're looking good. Oh, I can hear it. Do you guys hear the rockets? to outer space. And we didn't need Jeff Bezos here to take us to outer space. We did it ourselves. We didn't need a billion dollars. We did it ourselves just by using our imaginations. 
which is much more valuable than any, any dollar we can put a price on, that's for sure. Um, so nice job, nice job. So this next song is one of our popular songs too, besides Rocket Chip. It's called Little Soccer Player. So where are my soccer players out there? Do we have anybody who likes to play soccer? You're playing next week? Oh, this song is perfect then for you. One long week. One long week? Yeah. So in our soccer song, we want to see you guys do a few moves. Maybe we can start off, what do you guys think, Dave? We can start, maybe we can jog in place and get warmed up. Can yeah. you guys jog in place? Let's warm up. Oh, thank you, Harper. You're my only friend jogging. Oh, okay, here they we go. They have way more steps in today than I think we do. Than we do, yeah, yes. Right, right. Nice job, nice jog in a place. All right, can we practice kind of passing the pretend ball to our friends? Let's do little kicks. It's very important to pass the ball, right? We don't want to be called a ball hog by our teammates. I've heard that term from my own kids. Right? He's a ball hog. She doesn't pass it. We gotta pass the Short ball to our friends. And of course, we want to give out some high fives. <laughs> good, good teamwork. Yeah. Oh, that was great. That was just in time. That was a fantastic <laughs> high five. Nice job. Hey, I think hey. Right. you guys are awesome. <laughs> all right, we're going to do all those moves. We're going to run, we're going to pretend to kick, we're going to score a goal, of course, and show some good teamwork. Here we go. USA Women's World Cup team, sorry, World Cup, yes. Olympic team, won the bronze. Hopefully I didn't spoil that for anybody, but I think it's been out for a while now, right? <laughs> I think we've, that's been out, okay, not a spoiler. Um, yes, lots of great female and male soccer players, starting from when you guys are really little, so it's such a fun game. Nice job, everybody. All right, so we have big news this year, in the year 2021. The Stacey Peasley Band released a brand new album. Woo! A new album. So whether you listen to music on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, we do have CDs for sale tonight here also. We have a whole bunch of new songs for your family to listen to. So it's called Make It Happen, and we're gonna sing the title track from that album right now. Oh, Russ, yes. Yeah. Well, well, welcome from Memo. We appreciate you coming out. It's a nice sized crowd tonight. Coming out to see Stacy Peasley and the band. These, these uh, people have been with us for many years. We love having them come back each year. 
Uh, in particular, you know, they focus on the real youth uh, of, of here, but it's very, still very good for the adults to enjoy the music. So it's a nice blend that they bring uh, to the concert. We're glad to have them. Um, they were introduced to us, actually, through beginning years. This band had been with them a number of years beforehand, and they used to come and, and perform for the, stu the students at the, at the uh, center. So that's how we got to know them, and we thank Beginning Years for coming tonight to be one of the evening hosts. The other evening host that we welcome for the past few years, and we're glad to have them, is new in town. And they're on the other side of the memo booth. We're glad to have them for a few years. I'm going to have each of those uh, groups come up and talk at some point during the night to tell you what's going on with their tables and come up and talk to them what's going on with, the, with their organizations. Another couple of thank yous uh, go out to, one is the town of Medfield. Each year, Memo puts these on and we get a major sponsor. With COVID and all, we were not able to get uh, a major sponsor again. So the town went into its uh, 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 community, uh, not entertainment, but a community fund. So they're helping out with putting on the show tonight. So we give them a round of applause for helping us out this year. And we want to thank Medfield TV for coming out every show for, I don't know, 10 years or so. I know it's been 10, 11 years because I was on the website the other day on YouTube looking at what we did in 2000. So they post all the shows on there. The bands get to use it for their publicity. In the towns, people can go back and see what kind of shows uh, we, we had. I know a lot of you in, uh, in the audience tonight are probably new to Medfield. You may not know what Memo is. It's Medfield Employers and Merchants Organization. It's kind of like a chamber of commerce, but we decided to call ourselves something else. And. So we're an organization of businesses in Medfield, whether it's working out of your house, uh, brick and mortar in town, or whatever. And so if anybody's uh, new to the area and might be interested in finding out what the memo organization is all about, maybe consider joining, come on up to the memo booth and find out a little bit about it. The t-shirt, uh, that we do each year. We're going to pull it a little early tonight. We're going to do it around 7 o'clock. We're going to do it about 7 o'clock tonight, and uh, we'll post the winning tickets on the board next to our booth. So if you haven't got your free ticket yet, come on up and get it. Thanks a lot for letting me speak. Thanks. Yes, thank you. Thank you to Memo and to Russ, who's been putting these programs together for... 20 years. 20, 20 years. years. At least. Russ, so can we give him a round of applause? Bringing entertainment to the town of Medfield. The arts are so important, as we all know, and I, I honestly think during COVID, we kind of really learned that, where there were so many concerts online and on social media for people to enjoy from home. It really made people's um, lives a little happier during a, during a stressful time. So thank you, Russ. Um, so we are, like Russ said, we are so happy to be here. It's numerous, numerous years. And we're excited to play some new songs for you tonight from our new album. This song is called Make It Happen. It's about making the world a better place. That's right. Oh, um, yeah. So can we go down one more step? We just don't want any but boo-boos on our wires. Perfect. Yes, that's perfect. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna change the world I'm gonna make it happen Gonna make it happen
happen, we're gonna change the world one step at a time. Ruby, I saw you back there with your arms waving. Nice job, nice job. Uh, thanks guys, so we have CDs for sale for $10. Brand new Make It Happen C CD, 10 brand new songs for your family. If I don't see you at the show, if it rains and we don't see each other, you can get it on my website or you can email me. You can follow us on uh, Facebook and Instagram under the Stacey Peasley Band. But our music's all over Spotify and all your other ways of listening. So I hope you find our new album to listen to. All right, speaking of our new album and Spotify, this is my number one streamed song right now. It's about a choo-choo train. Do you guys hear a choo-choo train anywhere? I thought I heard something. Did you hear? Did you guys hear that? Oh, I hear it. All right, we want to see some choo-choo train arms going like this. Or if we want to find some friends and make a little train all around our lawn here. We like doing that too. All right, hopping on board. take our trains. Where'd you guys go? Who wants to tell us? Paris. Ooh, we're fancy in Medfield. Oliver went to Paris on his train. Where'd you go? You went 
on a train in India? Woo, we are so international here in Medfield. Where did you go on your train? Under a bridge. Oh, my kids love doing that. That's fun, right? In a tunnel. Where'd you go? Unicorns. Oh, is that a place? Yeah. <laughs> did we go to see unicorns? Is that a new country? I would like to live there. Can I move to unicorns with you? I bet you there's just unicorns everywhere, unicorns. That's awesome. Where did you go? Boston. I know that face from beginning years. Behind those glasses. I know the face behind those glasses. <laughs> Where did you go? You went to Boston too? Fun. So just like we did our, our rocket ship song, we traveled to outer space. We can go anywhere we want. When we use our imagination. I know Andrew was dancing up a storm over there. I don't know where he was going on his train. <laughs> oh, I like it. Stamp land, I see. <laughs> Wow, that was so much fun, you guys. Oh my goodness, what's next? Oh, can I tell you a really quick little sad story? Guess what happened to Miss Stacy today? I got a boo-boo. Can you guys see the boo-boo on my thumb? Yeah, I was very silly. I was peeling, peeling potatoes, and my thumb got in the way. So I have a little boo-boo. And my friend Matt back there reminded me, hey, Stacy, you have a song called boo-boo. I was like, oh yeah, it's kind of appropriate. But one other little quick story about boo-boo that I want, I don't know if my beginning years friends are gonna remember this, but I, beginning years classroom was one of my inspirations for writing my next song. Because when I went in to visit beginning years, one day they started telling me all about their boo-boos. How they fell on the skin their knee, or they had a boo-boo on their toe. So I went home and I wrote a song called Boo-Boo, inspired by all the boo-boo stories that my friends from beginning years Tommy, so we want to play that song for you, but this is my first time playing the song where I actually have a real boo-boo. But it'll get better. Does anybody else have a boo-boo or a band-aid on them? Maybe. Summertime we get some boo-boos, right? When we're outside playing. Yeah, so that my friends who are right here, can we back up like two steps? We're gonna back up just two steps because we have a lot of wires. We don't want anyone getting a boo-boo. We don't want to getting a boo-boo during our boo-boo song. Yes. Oh no. She does. Oh boy. Just like me, huh? So if we have a question right over here, Steve. Oh, who's got a question? Oh, Bill has a good idea so nobody gets a boo-boo. He would like all feet on the red bricks. Can you guys find a red brick? And put your feet on it? Perfect. Who can find a red brick? Right. Oh, there you go. Good job. Beginning years is hiring if you want to teach. That was a good lesson. Alright, here we go. Let's hear about our boo boos. Let's sing. Who starts this song? <laughs> Alright, let's dance.
back here. Who's brave and strong out there? Oh, let me see those muscles. Who's brave and strong? We fall down, we get a boo-boo, we get back up. We cry a little, but we get back up. Because we're brave and strong. Oh, Malcolm, you're so strong. I see you. Good. Really? Yeah. Tell me. Oh, keep those muscles up. Oh boy, was it a boo-boo? Oh, it wasn't a boo-boo. Oh. <laughs> Let me tell you about my boo-boo. We'll see, this will heal soon. Good thing I can still play guitar. Well, we have a special guest coming up. <laughs> so just reminding you, soon we're gonna pull out the winning t-shirt uh, at the memo booth. Also wanna let, if you, had, if you haven't come up to the new in town booth, they have these great t-shirts for sale, entering Medfield sign, which is really cool. And they have freebies to the kids, uh, stamps and stickers. Ooh. So make a trip there if you haven't. Cool. I think those would be good in a goodie bag, right? Stamps and stickers, like our goodie bag. Yes. Be some good ones too. <laughs> nice job, you guys. So I'll do a little plug for our little um, band. Also, like I said, you can find our music online, everywhere. YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music. Please listen to our songs. We really want you to take the dance parties that we have here together and listen to them at home. We also have CDs for sale after the show. And if you guys are interested in music classes, I run a Mommy and Me or Caregiver and Me. They used to in my olden days called Mommy and Me. <laughs> Caregiver and Me music classes in South Natick if you're looking for some fall outdoor programming for your families in a very safe outdoor environment. You can find out information um, from me on that as well. It's called Lucky Day Music Class. So I hope you join us. All right, speaking of Lucky Day Music Class, this is one of our staple songs we do. This is called Fun To Do. We are gonna clap our hands and do some moves together, and then we're gonna count. My friend Ruby, I know you're gonna know this song, so I hope you'll do this with us too. So we want everybody here to do the same moves together at the same time. Yeah. Clapping hands. Clapping hands, it's fun to do, and I love to have with you. All right, you guys, we're going to count to five with our voices and clap our hands at the same time. Everybody out here together, are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five. Great job. That was awesome. All right, let's move those feet. Here we go. Stomping feet. Together at the same time. Are you guys ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. 
You guys ready for this one? Dave, you ready? I'm ready. Who else is ready to jump so high? Jump. Are you ready to jump so high back there? I, I hope so. Jumping so high. Should we jump more than five? Should we jump ten times? Ten! Can we do ten times? Yeah. Do you think so? Who's ready for the challenge? Bill, are you ready for the challenge? I'm <laughs> Alright, ten, here we go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, All right, let's end with a big dance party this song. Who's got some dance moves they want to show us? Oh, let's see them. Dancing around. so much fun. All right, well, we, get, we hope you guys are having a great time. We always have a great time every year here. And we're going to play our next song, which is our most popular song. Does anybody have a guess? What's Stacey Peasley's most popular song? Can anybody guess? <gasps> what do you think? Soapy, oh, Soapy Bubbles! Yes. You got it! <laughs> I'm so honored that you know that. So Soapy Bubbles, that song's been around for 10 years. It's hard to believe. 10 years, and it's still a favorite. So we thank everybody who has loved that song for all these years and played it at bath time. And we have a great video for that song too on our YouTube channel. So Dave is gonna start our Soapy Bubbles song with some beautiful piano. That actually sounds like bubbles.
the Stacey Peasley Band. Okay. All right. I am so glad. We need lots of help with this one because we have um, all of my friends up here play instruments and it's a lot of fun. And we want to introduce you to some of the instruments we have here, kind of show you how to play them and we're going to all pretend to play in our big band together. So first on drum, say hello to my friend Dan. All right, let's get our drumsticks out. Dan's going to play. Let's play drums with Dan. Dan. All right, behind me on bass, this is a really cool guitar. This is Matt. Can you guys say hi to Matt? Hey, Matt. Hi, everybody. All right, let's hear what that bass sounds like. Let's hear it. Yeah. You're feeling that. Is that Gus? That's the groove. Gus is feeling those moves. Nice job, Gus. All right. The man of many sounds on piano, Dave. My friend, say, say hi to my friend Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi. And now let's wiggle our fingers like Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know that too. Hi, hi. Nice job. All right, rocking the guitar over here is my friend Bill. Say hi, Bill. with all those instruments and we want you guys to pretend to play with us. So when we call out the instrument that you heard, we want you to pretend to play that instrument. Here we go. Wait, wait. 
great musicians. Nice job, everybody. Good job, everybody. You're going to pull off the rest with that. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> all right nice job you guys wow we're having so much fun thanks for coming out tonight i know all day it was probably like a big decision should we go out to the show should we not is it gonna rain is it not but we really appreciate you guys coming out i have three kids and i know packing up kids and taking them out is not always an easy <laughs> it's not always a quick easy process so we appreciate you guys coming to see us tonight um, we're going to do a song called Fun, 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 which is always one of my favorite songs to do, especially here, because it's about making friends. And I have seen so many friendships blooming at my shows and then also, especially at beginning years, where I am lucky enough to work and see all the little friends in the infant room and the toddler room and preschool and pre-K. So find a friend or make a new one, and we're going to sing Fun, Fun, Fun. At, at beginning years and all the different rooms that I go in. It's always so much fun. Great job, everybody. All right, we have another fun song. So this new song, this is also on our brand new album. So I hope you listen to it, called Make It Happen. You can find it, find it online or anywhere else. Uh, this is called At The Parade. So I wanna know who's ready to have a parade here in Medfield right now. We have four moves I'm gonna teach you guys. Are you ready? First move in our song, what do people usually do at a parade? We march, right? So we're gonna do our marching feet for our parade. Nice job. Our second move is we're gonna be in the band in our parade. We're gonna pick an instrument to play. Maybe drums again. Maybe trombone. My son plays trombone. That's a really cool yeah. instrument. Maybe a trumpet. Oliver was saying he thought we'd have a trumpet. Maybe, maybe Oliver, you can play trumpet like this. You're four? <laughs> three and three quarters. 34. 34, that's like three and 40. <laughs> our next move is we're going to clap our hands and cheer. <laughs> and our last move is we're going to pretend we have a flag in our hand. We're going to put our hands up high and wave them in the air. Nice job. All right, we're going to start with marching first. 
And we're gonna have a big parade. If we want to take our parade, and if you guys do it sort of around our green here, that's super fun also. You know this song, right? quarantine started and the first kind of first event in our area that got on a bigger scale that kind of got canceled was the St. Patrick's Day Parade last March so I two marches ago so I decided to write a song so we could have our very own parade at home with our families maybe our neighbors maybe in our little bubbles and now we get to have it with more friends which is always great and that's also on my new album you can find that song online if you want to have your parade at home All right, we have two more songs for you guys tonight. The first song is called Together, and it's about brothers and sisters. Raise your hand if you're here with a brother or a sister tonight. I know we have Emily and Andrew, and we have Taylor, Peyton, Kennedy, and Mikey. Who else do we have? Joe, are you here with a brother or a sister? You have a big brother? What's his name? Jack. Jack and Joe, I like it. And I met your sister. You guys are brother and sister, right? What are your names? Michael and Madeline. Michael and Madeline. Thank you. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, Emily, thank you. I got a lovely flower. Say it again. We have two more songs we're gonna do. Because I feel like it's gonna be bedtime soon for some friends, right? It's getting late. This is a late night out. <laughs> for me too, trust me. I think I used to start singing at 11 at night when I was in my younger days. Huh? <laughs> All right, together. All right, if you have a brother or sister here, can we find them and dance with them? And if you don't, just find some friends, that's what I used to do. <laughs> I don't have any brothers or sisters, so I used to just join some, join some friends.
Wow, well, that was so much fun, you guys. Oh, we got lots of sibling love still. It's so nice. <laughs> oh, now we're fighting. Ninjas. Ninjas. Oh, thank you. So I wanted to tell you, we do have CDs for sale, but also, if you want to be an official Stacey Peasley fan, we have Stacey Peasley concert t-shirts. $10 for sale. They're super cute. We have, si sorry, our sizes don't get as big as I, as I think I need to. We have 2T, 3T, 4T. We have pink, blue, and red, which match all of our albums. And you can see us after the show for a t-shirt if you want to buy one, or a CD, or just high fives and sweaty hugs are good too. Tell me, Joe. Oh, is he over there? With the stripes on his shirt right there? Very cool. Emily, I have something to tell you. You have blue spots all over your arms. Did you know that? What did you eat? What did you drink? Oh, they're stamps. I thought maybe she ate a special food or something and it turned her arms full of those, spots. Uh, those, those dots, candies oh. or something? <laughs> Lots of dots. Gives you dots. My little brother tries to do everything I do. I think I have a song that needs to be written about that. You just gave me a good idea, Joe. I'm gonna credit you on my album with that song. Is that your little brother right there? And he tries to do everything you do? Aw, that's so nice. Same thing with Andrew. He, Andrew copies everything you do. Oh, you got red. So fun. Well, as you know, the best part of my job is not only singing, but it's chatting with all my friends, because we can just chat forever. Hi, Gus. Oh, you got red, too? <laughs> all right, we have one song left for you guys, and then it's Bill's bedtime. Yep. We gotta go to bed. <laughs> It's called Dance Party! Who's ready to have a dance party? Yes. You don't think what? <laughs> That's very funny, Lillian. Very funny. She said, I don't think chatting is a job. It's part of my job. I get to chat with the best people. You guys! <laughs> All right, dance party. So look around. Can you guys find your grown-up? Where's your grown-up? It's time to tell your grown-up to dance. Find that grown-up, go get him. Find that grown-up. We're having a dance party. Kids and grown-ups. Trust me, I have a 16-year-old. She doesn't want to dance with me anymore. So we want you guys to dance. Woo!
the moves here tonight. All right, on base. All right, get ready to move. Matt Gerard. I know Gus was liking the bass earlier. Thank <laughs> you.